OK, so let's say I've got a vector minus 3i plus 9j, which is in component form, and I want to write it in magnitude direction form. So first of all, I would suggest that we draw out a diagram to see what this vector looks like. So because I would be going minus 3 in the x direction and 9 in the y direction, it would be a vector that is pointing something like that. Okay, where we would be going 3 along and 9 up. Okay, so that is what this vector looks like. Okay, so I'll draw in the x-axis. Um, so, I first of all want to find the magnitude. So if we call this vector A, then the magnitude of A will be... Uh, using Pythagoras, the square root of 3 squared plus 9 squared. So what's that? Well, that's square, uh, 9 squared is 81 plus 9, so square root of 90. OK, so square root of 90 simplifies to 3 root 10. So that's the vector's magnitude. Now, as for its direction, I would be looking for that angle there to be its direction, OK? Now, it would be ideal if I found that angle, then I could subtract it from 180 to find that angle, OK? So, if I called this one, um, let's say, let's call that one theta, then theta is the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. So inverse tan of 3. So inverse tan of 3 is 71.6 degrees to 3 sig fig. So that's that one. So the angle we want is 180 take away that, which would be 108 degrees to 3 sig fig. It's 108.4349488. So if I was to write this vector in, direct, in magnitude direction form, um, it's often written in a bracket where the magnitude is given first and the direction is given second, like so. You must have uh, the degrees symbol in there, okay, in order to identify that that is the angle that we are using here. The diagram backs it up to make sure that you are clear to the examiner which angle you've chosen to use, if it hasn't already been specified.